Thank you. It all happened in the white wood frame house behind me here in the 1100 block of Chapman late Wednesday night. When police arrived on the scene, they found a man and a woman both had been shot to death. Hours after the shootings, things appeared normal on the tree line street. Buses were picking up kids for school, but neighbors were stopping to talk with each other about the events of Wednesday night. We spoke with Mary Babbitt, whose nephew was killed. She says her nephew, whom she identified as 22-year-old Cornelius Harris, worked two jobs and was never in trouble. This morning, she was grief-stricken and shocked. It's a real quiet neighborhood. It's a good neighborhood to live in, but now you just don't know. That's right. You, you just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. You really can't tell. Mm -hmm. You here today and gone tomorrow. You, um, somebody just walk in and knock on your door and that's it, you know? Neighbors and relatives say the female victim was Harris's fiance. Harris and the female victim leave behind several children. Police expected to release more details about the shooting and the person of interest they have in custody. A quick note, there was a third victim taken to North Mississippi Medical Center with a gunshot wound to the hand. We don't have an update on his condition, and we're not sure if he was a suspect in this crime. We'll have more details, though, as they become available. For now, I'm Allie Martin reporting from Tupelo. We'll send it back to you in the studio.